The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge attended a church service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham, Norfolk. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were seen in public for the first time in 2019 for the church service at Sandringham. It has become a tradition for the couple and some of their closest friends to attend the first Sunday service of the year. The pair were joined by other members of the royal family, including the Queen. The Duke and Duchess's friends Laura and James Mead also joined the royals for the outing. The Duke and Duchess were all smiles as they passed while wishers waiting in anticipation to see the pair. Kate wore a stunning blue Catherine Walker coat, costing a staggering £3,000. The item is an old favourite of Kate's which she was last seen wearing during a visit to Norway in February 2018. The future queen updated the outfit with a matching headband in the same colour, an accessory she appears to favour of late. The look was finished off with elegant black gloves and high heels. Meanwhile, Prince William was seen wearing the navy suit and wool overcoat, which was paired with a shirt and red tie. Kate smiled at kind well-wishers who gave the Duchess bunches of flowers after the church service. While Prince William joked with locals who had braved the cold conditions to see the royals. The Queen followed behind, looking elegant in a tan wool coat with a fur trim and a matching hat. Her Majesty's husband Prince Philip appeared to have stayed at home. The monarch was instead accompanied by a female companion. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were not in attendance. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge along with their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis have spent Christmas at the royal family Sandringham estate. But the couple will head back to London this week after their extended Christmas break. Prince William will carry out his first official engagement of the year on Wednesday 9th, which is also Kate's 37th birthday. The Duke will be missing the celebrations to visit Royal London Hospital to mark 30 years of London's air ambulance, where he will meet the professionals behind the service. The future king worked as an air ambulance pilot while the family were living in Norfolk, so it is a cause close to his heart.